Hello and welcome to this cryptocurrency technical analysis where together we're going to be jumping straight into the Bitcoin chart and I'm going to be giving you a very short, sweet, simple and concise analysis for you here. I'm going to be explaining my medium term time frame bias. Funnily enough, in the last video, I actually forgot to talk about it. As at the start of the video, I said, pay attention, I'll give you my medium term time frame bias if that's unchanged. I forgot. So I will, of course, actually remember and answer that in my video of today, 100%. Of course, throughout 2023, I've had this very bullish bias trading this uptrend that we've had. I've been very nicely positioned in long trades, primarily looking to long each dip. If I have taken a few shorts, which I have, they've been short scope trades to bring it down for a take profit before trading upwards with the prevailing trend. Each day going to sleep, telling my team I'm in no short positions, only in longs, looking for higher, looking for higher and looking for higher. That's the trend of myself over the course of 2023, very bullish. And in the last video, I alerted to you that I had taken a short position at around $21,600. Why? It was a simple case of a swing failure pattern off of our previous high. So we had this short position taken at around $21,500, $21,600. Okay, and obviously we did see a large drop in price. It was a successful short. And even if it's still open now, it's still sat in profits, right? From here, this short position up here at 21,500 has to have hit a take profit one by now. Why? Because it's no, you don't need to fully close it. But as I'm going to reveal in the rest of this video, why I still do remain bullish. Okay, just want to show you a few posts. It's going to be a quick analysis, just one quick post I want to show you from inside my group here. Um, and it's going to be basically updates from within inside the champions discord which i've given my team explaining why i remain bullish on bitcoin and i am still expecting higher prices to come thus you can see here making it clear i am remaining bullishly biased at the moment and looking for the higher price next target zone okay from within here we had a really beautiful trade setup earlier today by the way but for now yeah i would prefer higher overall onto the next target and i hope that me explaining my real time thought process and trade management with reasons behind each trade is helpful to you all team ready to crush the next trade of you all of course with the here i'm referring to my explanations these real time thought processes the trade management how i'm managing the trades why i'm taking them what i'm looking for next and those reasons for all those trading updates live in the time before anybody else. That's what you're going to get over, by the way, at chartchampions.com on the champions level. So if that's of interest to you, you can get that over on our website. But for those watching this free YouTube video, I'd like to explain why I had this bullish bias and you know what I'm looking at next. Okay, so this is going to be helpful for you watching this video right now. Please pay attention. So you can see I've took this fixed range here. Okay, so this is just the fixed range of the range that we are currently trading within. OK, so from within this range that we're currently trading within, we had this really, really nice few pivots that have been put in. Originally, swing fire pattern of the high drop. Retest CC coming to CC support, which is also the value area low. From there, we bounce off of that. We actually back test here <laughs> the point of control, which in the end does get a little pullback before breaking upwards to the top of the CC. As you can see here, we reject at that Fibonacci level. We then back test resistance support on the exact point of control to the dollar. Bounce to retest the value area high to the exact dollar inside of that CC still. Then earlier today, we come and we back tested the point of control. Okay, so this is now a mini range here within the larger range. So obviously, this morning we had another long opportunity from the point of control. Okay, and our target, have a guess, can be back up at the value area high because this is our mini range to be trading. So from this long trade that we were given, we actually did, as you can see here, a few hours later, begin to move up over the course of the next few hours. And what have we just done? We've retested that value area high, which was actually in confluence with this time naked point of control, which we have now come up to tap. Okay, as you can see here, this has got tapped. This was posted in the group before we hit it. Okay, just alerting my team to be aware of this time naked point of control this is a level that we have above us now you can see we have tapped that and also took out that prior high on that value area high so this is our current local resistance i definitely wouldn't take this short position again going forwards because now it's been tapped okay this is weakened and one would expect it if we retest again to break through so i wouldn't actually short that level again by the way 
first tap acceptable but not not second or third tap for me this not a major level okay so this is our mini range that we're trading this is the exact reasons that we've seen for each of those bounces from here if we can reclaim this level into support so eg flip 21 300 into support we'll then be looking back up to our next target zone above us which is around the average price of around 21 7, 7, 5, more or less right and so that would be our next target zone above us of course if we just blast straight through this we simply just keep on looking towards our next levels um, and this is the thing right we have the levels above us just as we have levels below us and it's this case of having the levels understanding what's um, you know the, the next important levels next important zones to be aware of and then being patient waiting for those levels to be hit check the reaction understand do we want to take a trade now yes or no and it's as simple as that so for me i am bullishly biased still i'm looking for my next level and i can turn from bullish to bearish like that if i get a reason to so if we do get the rejection here i'll happily take a short position and i'll happily trade it down alternatively we come up we blast straight through the level there's no reaction there's no reason for me to change my bias and i'll look higher up okay towards 22k and above and to the levels to the downside well we still obviously have this range point of control and the larger levels down here around this daily we'll note that we do have a uh, npoc below us that you can also be aware of there around 20,775, right but for me the larger levels down here are this daily we have just really nice confluence with the value area low the cc just uh, just a lot of, around here that's it's a very nice region to be aware of cc has obviously slightly moved up now right you also have potential lows here for swing fire patterns taking out these lows as well so just around this zone we do have very nice confluence um and yeah so to to sum up obviously i said it, uh, i'd answer the question that what has my medium term time frame bias changed so of course throughout 2023 i've been very bullishly leaned okay i've been had this bullish bias i've been if i have taken shorts closing them out quickly making sure i lock in my take profit staying in my long trades looking for higher and expecting higher I had that bullish bias of saying to my team i'm looking for higher to come and that's the exact same updates and biases that i'm giving my team i still want to see higher i'm still remaining bullish okay i'm still remaining bullishly biased i'm looking for higher again i could get my next target and change that bias but for now i've got no reason to do so and i remain looking for those higher prices yeah i will say this ladies and gentlemen to wrap this up if you want these sort of levels if you want these sort of trading updates explanations where i'm going through what i'm looking at next my next levels whether i'm bullish or bearish biased and knowing my bias is very 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 helpful because generally speaking if i say i want to see something happen on bitcoin it's got a very good win rate of following that so you get to understand my bias and as soon as that changes i'll of course let you know and as well as that you get all the trade management you get my trades i'll explain my winners i'll explain my losses i'll give you little rundowns like this uh all through that you obviously get access to asking me any question you want about my charts over in the questions channel where you can come in here and ask any question that you would like and i will give you the answer right so if that's of interest to you along with the live trading streams that we have along with the you know the educational content all of that that you can watch over on the website that's available to you via chartchampions.com i'll just let you aware make you aware that this week we released a brand new strategy of the swing failure pattern 2.0 so this is really a game changer i know many of you are very much love trading swing failure patterns along with me right but this has now changed we've got new updated statistics that are absolute game changer for the swing failure pattern especially with our current trend it's very important to be aware of where the biggest reversal highest probability statistically speaking is after a swing fire pan that's all the information that i teach inside the new swing fire pan 2.0 video for the contenders and the champions so if you want to watch that along with all the hundreds of hours of educational content and trading updates that we give throughout the day and of course the live trading streams daily updates all of that you can get over on our website and um, yeah in this video i just wanted to bring your attention to my current bias for you watching this publicly so you do have that understanding and um, you know the next levels that I'm, I'm looking at here and i'm really really obviously happy to shield chart champions because i know chart champions is going to be the biggest trading space in the world i've seen the results and i've seen the help that we can give people i'm just so happy to talk so positively about this because of the fact that 
we really are able to change people's lives. And I've seen the results. I've seen people come to me and, and say their thanks and say what we're doing is really beneficial and making such a big positive impact. So yeah, I just want to spread the words and help as many people as possible with that because yeah, for me, I can see, I can just see in front of my eyes and it's just such a good feeling to know we can absolutely positively impact people's lives. And of course, this year, we've totally changed our stance. We've just become much more professional, much more, you know, concise, efficient and getting out material in the clearest and concisest way possible. So people can just fully understand what I'm looking at and what I'm looking at next. So I'm just going to wrap it up with that. If you want to see all of those updates, you can get it over at chartchampions.com before anybody else okay uh, so yeah hope that you've enjoyed this if you have you know what to do hit that like button hit the subscribe tick the notification bell so you don't miss any updates as soon as they go live and uh, yeah if you want to see more from me i'll catch you over on the discord which you can get access to via the website right so cheers everybody thank you have a brilliant 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 weekend and rest of the week next week to come i'll be with you each step of the way and so let's get ready to continue to crush these charts cheers everybody thank you and that's me signing out goodbye cheers okay actually i'll end with the legal trade disclaimer of course that no financial advice in this video um and yeah that's it cheers everybody thank you and goodbye